hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make the viral tiktok feta pasta recipe with shrimp this recipe is so easy and so delicious if you would like to see it keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe if you are new be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the recipe without further ado let's jump right in Here is what you need to make this recipe. Of course, the measurement will be below for you guys in the description box. You will need feta cheese, large and deveined shrimp, Italian seasoning, two teaspoon of slap your mama, half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of paprika, four garlic cloves, fresh basil, two cup of pasta of your choice, two cups of cherry tomatoes, and olive oil, and also I have some salt and pepper to taste. First thing I'll be doing is adding my cherry tomatoes to my cooking pan. Next, I'm going to be adding my cheese right in the middle. We're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top of it. Now we're going to season with Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. Also, you can add some oregano to this as well. And also, I forgot to add my garlic, but I went ahead and add the garlic in as well and bake it. Now I'm going to be drizzle a little bit more of the olive oil on top. We're going to bake this on 400 for 35 minutes. While that is baking, we're going to get ready to season our shrimp. For the shrimp, I'm mixing the slap your mama, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder together, just pour it in there and mix it together until all the shrimp is well covered with the seasoning. Now I'm going to be cooking the shrimp in the air fryer. Now if you want, you can cook this on a stove top or you can even bake it. Now I'm going to spray a little bit of nonstick spray on there. Place those shrimp in the air fryer. We're going to air fry it for about 12 minutes. Now the air fryer that I'm using, I do have a link for those who might be interested. It will be in the description box for you guys. Now I'm going to be selecting the shrimp preset and let that cook for about 12 minutes on 375. Once it is done, honey, this is what you have nice and crispy, nice and tasty. Now we're going to set that aside while we cook our pasta. I'm sure you guys know how to cook pasta. Come on now, just follow the direction on the packaging. Now, as you guys can see, the tomatoes and the cheese and the garlic is nice and soft and melted. What we're going to do now is just use the back of the spoon to mash everything down until everything is well combined and mashed together. Now before I add my pasta, I'm going, to, I'm going to chop the basil, put that in, and now we're going to add the pasta, mix it together just like so. Now if you find this a little too thick for your liking, you can also add about two to three tablespoons of milk in there and stir it together, but it was perfect for me. So here it is, once I am done, we're going to plate this very nicely if you want you can mix your shrimp in but i like to add the shrimp on top for a nice presentation look at that sauce look at that juice from the shrimp 
just pour it on there of course when you eat it you can mix it together but there it is this is my little feta cheese pasta I jazzed up myself let me know down below how you guys like this pasta this recipe this particular recipe if you do try it because last recipe that I made a lot of you guys told me well most of you guys not all of you guys said you don't really like the cheese because it's kind of like sour ish that's that is how it is if you don't like the taste of the cheese you might have to use mozzarella or something but I like it okay let me know if you try this be before let me know how you like it and also guys do not forget to thumbs up the recipe help your sister out give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it if it was useful and also subscribe if you know you haven't subscribed please join the family subscribe give me a thumbs up and also comment down below thank you for watching i will see you guys on the next recipe 